Well, now. You can make yourself presentable when you have a mind to. <laughs> oh, forgive me. I am simply excitable. <sighs> it is good to be out under an open sky once more. My first, since the reconstruction began. We left quite a mess behind. But the city begins to look something like itself once more. Same twisting alleys for purse pickers. Same wooden buildings ready to get burnt by next year's dragon. Same cisterns overflowing. Huh. Ah, the upper city has been almost entirely rebuilt. That's where the gold is. Even the builder scaffolds are cleared from the streets. No dust left to sneeze at. Baldurian simply... get on with it. <laughs> Stubbornness. Civic spirit. Plain stupidity. Perhaps all three. But nothing I will sniff at any longer. Harpers have come from half the world over to lend aid. Farmers, masons, healers. My own son, Jord, has been wooed to their ranks. Already he plans crop cycles in Worms Crossing. Not so for my daughter. Ryan's rejoined the Flaming Fist. Temporarily, you understand. To organize the craftsmen. Though she spends more time locking up comrades for pocketing eight funds. <sighs> they might learn a thing or two if they don't expel her. Again. Honestly, much more sitting down than I'd like. Mistake me not, there is still much to be done. Plans to make, maps to be frowned over. But my children are more than capable of doing it. Even the young ones tire of me peeking over their shoulders. This night offers them a brief respite from me at least. And this place, now I look at it, it is where you all spent your first night together, no? A fine spot for an adventure to begin. A fine spot indeed. Just a little wonder, perhaps, to stretch the legs. I'll find my way back, as I always do. I admit defeat. Baldur's Gate is my home. But that is the thing about home. The only way to see it clearly is to leave and look back. For a little while, at least. For all your travels, I hope you have arrived where you want to be. Home. Whatever that means to you. Ah, oh, sentiment. With the greatest affection, I can think of better ways to sour our stomachs. I must inspect the refreshments. You'll never know. Some ne'er-do-well might have tampered with the wine. I'm glad the months have not been wasted. Particularly as I spent them cleaning up the mess we made of the city. An unworthy one. Forgive me. I am simply excitable. It is good to be out under an open sky once more. Ha ha ha! Ah, how nice to be understood again. I have spent the past months bickering with builders and bankers, all to restore the city exactly as it was. And you've never looked more yourself. It's good to see you, Karlak. I've been thinking of you these past months of rebuilding. How we had better leave your city as you remember it. For your homecoming. Your higher form has brought with it some higher manners, then. Do you know... I am? I have been known, on occasion, to speak ill of Baldur's Gate. But the city is more than her squalid streets. Hmm, what else? Helping. Whether I ask for it or no. 
I knew an Everescan gray cloak who would say, Baldur's Gate will be the death of me. But I can't say it doesn't hold all of life. I checked it myself. The Master of Masons was reluctant to release funds for work in the outer city. But your neighbors proved persuasive. An empty throne, thanks to you. The city will not be long in burying it. I suppose I am, though they seem determined to make me redundant. The beloved ranger? Oh, beloved wherever he goes. Winning all sorts over to our rebuilding efforts. Minsk has the guild and nine fingers on board. <sighs> Deep down, it seems even the wicked can be moved to care for the city that made them. Of course, many of the wealthy fled the city when danger struck. Ha! Huh. Perhaps the thieves only want to lure them back. But for now, their hands are busy laying bricks. While I hover around. Astarian, I knew you would spare me a kind thought, but it is still strange to hear a kind word. You have clearly been drinking, and I will need to catch up. Thank you, Will. My own daughter is in the fist. I would not have encouraged her to join if I did not believe in the Raven Guard's legacy. Perhaps I'll wake to greet the dawn. Take a walk and see where my legs take me. Of course I am. Perhaps just the long way around. It would be good to stretch my legs for a bit. And I them. But I cast a little more shade than I would like, and they are only beginning to see the sun. Which is my way of saying, I'd like to see the open road once more. Just for a time. But that is the thing about home. The only way to see it clearly is to leave and look back. For a little while, at least. But, um, should a mother wish to know how her children are faring, not worrying, mind, only wondering, perhaps you might write and tell me of them. And of you, too. And I vow to send them word of my own wanderings, if only to spare me Ryan's wrath next I return. <laughs> if you really want to help, You'll get Minsk out of trouble for me. Spare me that adventure. Still, we need not begin with the Ferdy Wells just yet. We have tonight. No need. I know you Sharons must have so very much on your minds. Better they forget where to find my family home. Then I wish you well on your travels. You need not stay to look after the city. Duty without choice is servitude. You have your place. I have mine. Mm. The druid in me hears the wisdom there. But the mother knows best. Do you now? I never said it would be restful. First, let us enjoy tonight. If you still want to journey away on the morrow, come and find me. Together we will try hard not to have an adventure. Although, <clears throat> we might have to undertake a brief quest to rescue Minsk first. Here and now. That is enough for tonight. No? It won't be for long. You are meant to be an evolved being, are you not? I'm sure you can master quill and parchment. My children can make sure of that themselves, I promise you. But we come together in the spirit of friendship tonight, do we not? I doubt it will be in your lifespan, or even mine. But you are wise to be cautious. Uphold your watch, and I will uphold mine. Learn all you can of Baal. And leave record of all you have learned. Do I? 
I don't mean to. Being a harper is like trying to roll a Jotun up a sliding glacier. Ah, yes, forgive me. There wasn't much time to offer hospitality with an elder brain looming over the city. They ask about you, of course. <laughs> but I keep them a little too busy for stories. Ah, there is still much to do. People to house. A harper network to rebuild. I may have little love for this city, but so long as my family chooses to serve it, I can do no less. You want to join the Harpers, even after all you have seen. Ha! <laughs> all right. I won't deny any willing arm for the cause, even those who should know better. There is, um, usually a ceremony. Reciting of odds, singing of songs. I'm sure we'll get to all of that as the drinks flow. For now, I give you only the most simple Harper Creed. To look for the light and watch always for the dawn. But to enjoy the night while we have it, huh? Now, before this night grows any deeper... Huh? Once I would have never expected such words from a creature of the night. But you have saved the city. When you forsook Baal, I know you lost your only place in the world. <laughs> Even if it was one that you needed to lose. I wished at that very moment to give you a new purpose. To invite you to the Harpers. You were ready. You were worthy. But I wanted you to have time. For you to come to me and say as you have said. To choose for yourself, rather than have a destiny thrust upon you. You will make the very best of Harpers, Balspawn. Take this. The old harp of harmony. You know it, son. The very grand duke, a harper. You know we are under vow to keep a low profile. <laughs> no, my liege. Your alliance is grace enough. In walking in the sun, you have forgotten how to keep to the shadows. You would betray the harpers faster than you could drop your pin. After the tug of war the gods have played for you? You want to flee to a secular order? Ha! Huh. I can see it. No bigger group of misfits would you find. You won't be the first Stragith Yankee who wandered over our hearth. The blade already stands for much that our order does. There is no doubt you have proven you would make one of the finest. If we can be discreet, I am not one to turn down a sharp mind, or an even sharper hive mind in this case. Hmm. I would have laughed in Viconia's face, but you, Shar or no, you have shown your devotion to the people of the Sword Coast. We do not discriminate on faith. You speak with truth in your heart. Here then, take this. Hmm. You think people look to you now to solve their every quibble? Try wearing that pin. <laughs> but you will wear it well. The Harpers welcome any into their ranks, so long as their soul is willing. You've proven you have one, mind flare or no. I have lived many lives. It is only right you be allowed to live another. Take this. 
Is this just a ploy to read the tomes on Mithran or the Twilight Hall keeps, which cannot be accessed by those not sworn? Gale, get you back to Waterdeep. Our archives don't need a bookworm infestation. The Harpers have a branch in Waterdeep. Show them this. Tell them an old lady sent you. Ah, the songs of my suffering will break hearts from here to the Hordelands, I am sure. I appreciate your concern for the city's defense, Leza. But you are worth more than one soldier. And more than ten fists. I hope the city might call on you when needful. But you followed enough orders for your time. But tomorrow's problems may wait there for the moment. The city will trundle on without aid for just one night. Obliged, my lord. But I think I'd rather see Baldur's Gate become a battlefield again first. Ah, uh, but I see the flush in your cheeks when I speak of family. Perhaps you mean to start one of your own? Oh, I don't want to watch over a blood match where the jewelers call me auntie. You, you just be careful. Spawn. All right, Ball child. It is true you are no longer what you were. You have done well for yourself. Garlic is lucky to have you. And know that you are not forgotten. If your friends don't drag you from the hells, it will only be because you freed yourself first. And I wish you fortune in it. But for tonight, I would say we're safe to lay aside our weapons. No? Whatever you learned, Lazel, you were your own teacher. Hell is not your home, Garlic. And if your friends do not drag you out of it, it will only be because you freed yourself first. The same might be said for all of us, I'd wager. But so long as our paths have thrown us together, I say we make the most of it. Gray I may be, but I'm in no hurry to see any afterlife before my time. We wouldn't want to spoil the novelty, now would we? Of course. Be sure to kick the mud from your boots before returning, then. But while you're here among the mortals, why not enjoy it? Quite a bit of climbing, then. Hmm. I have no doubt the Arch Druid keeps you active. <laughs> but perhaps you can spare the details for later. Why are you looking at me so? I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> You look upon fun, Jahira. Hmm. The man just makes friends wherever he goes, no? Ah, oh, fine then. I shall keep him from jumping back through a portal in the morning. Or perhaps follow him and give the Zenter him a talking to. If my head is sore enough. I'm thinking on the next place to visit. There is a wizard in Thay who I swore to check up on now and again. Ha! <laughs> Perhaps I shall take Minsk. A return to Rashomon might keep him out of trouble. In every place but Rashomon, at least. You are free to enter the monk's library. But if I am to be sent to sleep, I shall find a nice comfortable inn outside the walls. He is not permitted to return without his weak Lauren. I'm surprised he asked me to go. Don't even start down that path. I don't like where you're headed. Uh, we can discuss this tomorrow. We could spend all evening chattering about where to go. Or perhaps the Rashomar have forgotten us. It would make a refreshing change if that is so. Do you have 10,000 spare gold so we can bail you out if we get caught casting magic? 
A toad in the form of a necromancer. I can only hope he has had the decency to die since our last meeting. That red wizard is the only person Minsk doesn't seem to have a heart to forgive. If we are nearby, we will do well to check he isn't up to anything. And I can't wait to see the shock on his face when he sees Minsk yet lives. The miserable Grey Cloak? Ah, I hope he has lived all this while. With a moonblade hanging over his neck, he never expected to. He told me once he was maddeningly in love with our last ball spawn friend. Beneath sorrow, there was heart. Perhaps he is due a visit. Good evening again, young Harper. Ensure you ever maintain balance between drink, water, and nourishment on a night like this. Oh, you should not say that in polite company. Hmm. No. Safe place here. Huh. Very good. That isn't one you learned from me. <laughs> <laughs>